Taxiing into Canberra Airport, the DC-6B bearing South Vietnam's Premier Key, Madame Key, and accompanying officials. Visiting Australia at the invitation of the Commonwealth Government, they're welcomed by the Prime Minister and Mrs Holt. Premier Key's mission includes talks with government leaders and his stated desire to thank Australians for their support of his country. After acknowledging the national anthems of both countries, the Premier inspects the Guard of Honour. Later at his first press conference, Premier Key presents his answers to questions in a clear and friendly manner and soon wins the acceptance of veteran pressmen. He denies further political ambitions and expresses a wish to return to the Air Force, of which he is Air Vice Marshal. Next day, at a simple ceremony, the Premier places a wreath at the Australian War Memorial. To the 36-year-old Premier, war has been a part of growing up, his country having been constantly divided by hostilities for some 20 years. The South Vietnamese Premier's tour is not without its controversies. Outspoken in his criticism, Federal Opposition Leader Colwell leads the voices raised against it. In Queensland, the Jungle Warfare Training Centre at Canungra provides an informal moment as Premier Key mingles with wives and children of soldiers engaged on the course. A made-to-order opportunity to say thanks to people closely involved in helping South Vietnam. Recognised as one of the toughest training courses, Canungra places the accent on physical fitness. Gorge in the Mountains provides a shooting gallery perfectly representing jungle conditions. The muscle toughening course leaves little doubt that these soldiers are even fitter than the traditional fiddle. Canungra, surely an eye-opener for the visitor. South to Sydney and a friendly welcome at the airport, especially from Vietnamese students causing gasps of admiration wherever she appears, Madame Key, beautiful and elegantly clad in national dress. Banners of welcome are held aloft as the couple are greeted by Premier and Mrs Askin and the official party. Somewhat to the consternation of security guards, Premier Key breaks formality to talk briefly with members of the crowd. The official residence in Sydney is Admiralty House, and close by, anti-key demonstrators wait to stage their protests, a wait which is to be in vain. At the Maritime Services Board steps, the Premier and Madame Key board the luxury cruiser Mary D for the short trip to Kiribilli. Demonstrators on the harbour's north side therefore never even glimpse the subject of their hostility. From a public relations point of view, the visit of Premier and Madame Key has accomplished much towards our mutual understanding.